Hello everyone. Today we'll be checking the valid Sudoku problem. It's a medium level problem. The problem statement is to determine if a 9 cross 9 Sudoku board is valid or not. As everyone knows, for Sudoku to be valid, the elements in the row should be unique as well as elements on the column should be unique as well as elements within a box should be unique. So we'll, uh, we'll write the code to solve this problem. I found this solution from the discussion section and I found it to be pretty interesting as well as time efficient. So as we know, if there is a unique thing going on anywhere, I mean if, if anyone asked you to find the unique elements in an array and all, we have to go with a hash set. So hash set of string. Okay, let's say records is equal to new hard set of string and so our step one is done and we are iterating through every element of the two dimensional array so int i is equal to zero i less than let's say okay since size is given we can statically give the value here so i less than 9 i plus plus so 4 int j is equal to 0 j less than 9 and j plus plus okay so we'll be iterating to through every element and it is given that the empty elements are filled with dot values so if board ij equal to equal to empty i mean equal to equal to empty then nothing to do just continue and now we'll generate the unique strings okay generate unique strings okay for string for row generate unique strings for row as well as column as well as box so so string row equal to is equal to board ij plus rows plus i as well as for column for column string call is equal to call and j now for box box and how we are calculating the index of box is using i divided by 3 plus plus j divided by 3 so we have generated the unique strings now we'll be checking if the record is records contains any of the strings any of the string then return false so if i mean any of the string is row column or box then we'll return false so if record records dot contains row return false false that means the same 5 is repeated somewhere else or same 3 is repeated somewhere else if record contains the same row thing I mean if it contains the same row string similarly for similarly for column and box 
so if it does not contain then we will be inserting elements inserting the generated strings to record generated strings to record records so records dot add row and row column and box and finally we have to return true to state that we have completed the execution successfully now we will submit the code our solution is accepted now we will submit it our solution is accepted it is 21 percent faster as well as it consumes 75 percent less memory so it's a memory efficient solution thank you and have a great day